Hey guys, it's Buck. I'm going to do a little tutorial here on how to edit the harness. Uh, a lot of us at DG are doing the Iditarod races, so uh, some people have been asking me how to edit the harness, so let's take a quick look at it. I just downloaded it for this computer because I don't have too much stuff in my clothes closet. Oops. The nice thing about these things are um, you don't have to change a lot of the uh, sprite names. I'm actually not going to change this into its own toy. I'm just going to leave it as my harness because I don't really use these very often. Okay, so let's take a look. It's an ad clothing item. This first section is the type of uh, item it is. So it's a hat, a hat. A lot of you want to be able to wear hats and bows, so let's change this. We can either do earring L, earring R, nose thing 2. Uh, those aren't used very often. The next section is textures. So the weird thing about these clo clothing um, items, it starts kind of weird. The textures, it tells you what it is, and then end textures, that's usually where you find out what section you're working on. It'll say end, add balls, end lines, whatever. So this is the texture list. I want to do a texture on mine. Gosh, <laughs> I should have got this first. I have no idea where my textures are on this computer. Oh man, seriously. Oh, it's probably on here somewhere. Gosh, so sorry about this. So, I don't think these are what I want. Yes. Let's do, I want to do a purple one. Yeah. Let's do that one. Okay, so we're going to make this uh, texture internal. So we right click over on the left side, add resource, find that texture, and create. So now we'll show up here. Uh, I'm just going to copy this name in my CLZ clothes section. Oops. Now I can have um, art slash textures be the pathway. So now anything that is labeled with a texture will have those. So these are all add balls. I don't think I've actually read through all this before. Anyway, so that's the end of the add balls section. This is the start of the lines section. So it looks like everything is already outlined as black. But if you wanted to change the outline color, this would be start ball, end ball, fuzz. So you can make it all really fuzzy if you want. The color, you can change there. Left color, right color, that would be the outlines start thickness and thickness of the actual lines themselves. And then this would be, um, you can mess around with this if you want different outline styles. And then texture, I believe. Texture? I don't know what that last column is. And then that's the end of the line section. So that would be where you would edit. So let's say I wanted to do like pink as my outline color, I would change that to like 180 or something. The left and the right color columns. So that's it. If you want to do a texture, that's really easy. So we'll save that. And now voila. So Pierce, my trusty uh, model here, he's already wearing a crown. So that would be a hat thing. But we should be able to use the harness now because I changed it. So pretty, pretty. I think I like that. I might uh, pick another purple, but I think I really like that. That's cool. So there you go. It's that simple. Now we have a beautiful harness. Oh, and if you wanted to, you could take a picture and change it in Tinker as well. So, oops, come here, bud. 
put the bow on that matches. There we go. He's so pretty. Look at him. <laughs> Hope that helps you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know.